Hi everyone, it's Lonnie and we're back to fill up some more of our journal, Salvation Eternal Life, a topical journal filled with verses dealing with specific topics. And we've been working on putting verses in here and how to attach the verses. And so I was thinking what could I do today? How can I find more interesting ways to add more verses? And so looking through here, I see one belly band. And I see that I'm kind of heavy at the beginning of this journal with things. And so I was thinking, it's time to add something to the back. So, or the other day when I was making the base, the tag bases, I also made some, what I thought would be like for bookmarks. This one's a little too long, but since I sewed them, I have to make sure I pick a shorter one that actually fits. That would work. That would definitely work. And then we would just have to decorate that for a belly band. I have this really pretty wrapping paper. It has feathers on it. Um, let me see. This may totally not work, but I was thinking of kind of cutting it out. There was only one sheet of the feathers like this in the package of wrapping paper, but I may have actually bought the whole package just for this one sheet. And it's kind of strange because I may not be the type of person who actually wraps things. <laughs> so there's that. Um, but I'm using the wrapping paper and that's what counts. At least in my book it counts. That's two. You know, maybe one more. I have made belly bands out of just the the wrapping paper. I think last time I um, may have glued a whole section onto the belly band, but I thought this might work too. If you have some some things you'd like to cut out and use, then this may be a good this may be a good idea. I don't know. Okay, where is it? Here it is. Two. Do I want it on this page? I think it needs a little bit of a darker. Darker background to stick out a little bit more. When I first saw this um, music paper in here, I thought I had it upside down, but... I can still read what it says, so I guess it's not. All right, so I'm going to ink this up. So I made this bookmark or belly band, depending on how you use it, the same way um, Juliet Camellia Crafts. Sorry, I can't remember. I know it's Camellia and I know it's Julie who does it because I watch her all the time. 
but I'm not quite sure what the name of her channel is. But do go check her out if you like to listen to somebody gab. Um, she's my go-to. <laughs> I don't know what kind of an endorsement that is, but I also like watching her make things. Okay, so for this one, I think I'm just going to put it smack dab in the middle. Because I rarely do that. I usually put it on the edge. So, I think we need to also ink the edges of these. You know, when you ink the edges of things, you kind of tie them together. You make it a little more cohesive. I think. Seems to work that way with mine anyways. Little wetness on my ink because I sprayed them with water. Save a lot of money on inks when you um, wet them and perk them up with water as opposed to more ink. So how are you all doing today? Hope you're having a great week. Are you in the word? Are you struggling? I know it, it can be a struggle to stay in the word because there's so many things crying, or crying for our attention, trying to get us off focus. Feathers remind me of one specific verse. The fact that they're shiny doesn't hurt. But um, Psalm 91 talks about hiding under the shadow of the Almighty and how he protects us under his wing. So... I always like feathers. All right. I think that's good because I don't, don't want to overdo, right? And they are pretty shiny, so I want the focus to be there. And then we need some more verses. Maybe we could put two in there. All right, let's do these. First Corinthians one, verse 21. For since in the wisdom of God, the world through its wisdom did not come to know God, God was well pleased through the foolishness of the message preached to save those who believe. Yeah, God's foolishness confounds the wise of this world, that's for sure. Okay, we'll do that one like that. Romans 5, verse 1 and 2. Therefore... Having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom also we have obtained our introduction by faith into this grace in which we stand, and we exult in the hope of the glory of God. Yes, we do. There is hope in the word. Okay, so that is... Housing two verses there. That's cool. All right, what else can we do? I was thinking 
We have some doilies in here already. Um, I was thinking of doing some kind of a tuck. I was thinking of doing like a circle. And then I thought, what can I do with the circle? What circle can I do something with? And then I remembered I have these clocks. And they're still free on my coffee page, should you wish to download them. Um, what I did was I coffee dyed them and then I added some metallic gold watercolor to make like a, a rusty look. And I think I would choose this one. Or do I want it on here? That's a little stark. I think we'll go over here. And then we will um, kind of put glue. Sorry, can't see. I'm just putting glue uh, kind of on the bottom half of it, I think. Yeah, a little, like from about 2 o'clock to 8 o'clock. <laughs> Does that make any sense? Okay, so, whoops. Well, it would if I, oh my goodness. My bad. I, I did not design the clock itself. I got that off a public resource page. And so I just added my own designs to it to make it, you know, a clock that I liked. I, I added a design inside and then I, I monkeyed with the, um, with the edging of it. I gave it some more dimension and I added a style to it in Photoshop. So um, what I didn't realize was that I would have trouble reading it. <laughs> so I apologize. Um, so here it is, three o'clock and all is well. And so we could, we could leave this as it is. We could add some decoration, or we could just add some verses. Um, I think I'm going to do that, and then we'll see how it goes. This is a picture I drew on some watercolor paper as well. First John 4, verse 12. No one has seen God at any time. If we love one another... God abides in us, and his love is perfected in us. This is so good, because just yesterday I was reading Romans 13, which talks about obeying the authorities. And the Lord reminded me to go look at the definition of love. Love does not seek its own way. Which was a hard one for me to connect to Romans 13 because with the way the governments are acting now, for me personally, it's a challenge to um, to do right by them even though they're not always doing right by us. And so... This is good news. God abides in us and his love is perfected in us. But it's conditional if we love one another. So only with the Holy Spirit's help in us will we be able to love one another the way he desires us to. That's what I came away with. Um, let's see. Do we need something else? It looks a little plain. Mm, 
maybe a bigger border, uh, not a border, a, a label about that. Think Dead Thoughts. I think, I think that actually works really well with that verse because as long as you're thinking good thoughts about people, you're more inclined to treat them well. I'm just going to give this a bit of a stamp look because it had quite the large border. Yeah, so we were talking about how when Paul wrote that, it wasn't all rosy for the Israelites, the Jewish people, or Christians at the time, because there was a lot of persecution. And Paul never said anything about, well, if the government's mistreating you, then you don't have to listen to them. And so... It's like, ouch. <laughs> it's not one of those um, feel-good verses at first, but then if you come to the realization that you can't do this without the grace of God inside of you and the fruit of the Spirit that He produces in you, there's no way you're going to be able to keep any of what he says to do. Okay, so I got that little bit on the inside there because I felt it needed a little bit of balance. So I'll put that there. Put this here. I'm going to pick out another verse so we get through these a little bit faster. Isaiah 32, verse 17, And the work of righteousness will be peace, and the service of righteousness, quietness and confidence forever. I think that is so good, because the more you know him, the more quiet you are inside, and the more confidence you have that he's going to keep his promises. I really like that. All right, so that's two verses. And we could put something else up top here yet if we really wanted to, but I'll have to think about that and see if I think of something. Let's see, one more page for today. That's pretty, I like that. I was thinking what might be good here. If I had a verse written, um, I don't have a verse, but I still have some of those hymn titles kicking around. Let me see, what have I got? There, that'll work. It may not directly tie in with our theme, but it ties in with our walk with the Lord. Humble yourselves in the presence of the Lord, and he will exalt you. I didn't write a reference, but I believe it's in James. Something like that. And I know we just did a belly band, but this could be sort of a belly band. It'll act like a belly band, but it'll probably look more like a tuck, <laughs> if that makes sense. Just stick that there. I've only attached it at the top and the bottom. 
And then, oh, I don't think I have any really skinny verses left though. I'll have to save this idea. I made these little tiny envelopes. They look like tea bags. And I was thinking I could tuck one there just because it has some color. And then we could stick a verse in there. And I think the ones I have written out are probably not skinny enough. However, if I go back to these labels, I could stick that in there. A little long. Hmm, what shall we do? I might have a bigger one. Let's see if anything fits in here. Almost, not quite. That will stick in there. That will work. Okay, so then I just need a verse for this one. Okay, I'm going to do something else. It just occurred to me. Um, if you've ever heard it, I have to think about what it means now because I haven't heard it in a while and I've never actually used it. Oh, here we go. Basic. Instruction. before leaving Earth. B-I-B-L-E. Basic instructions before leaving Earth. I think that's very appropriate for what we are doing here. So, I just used one of the labels I made and I'm gonna stick that in there, wrap that up. I'm going to ink this though. So this uh, little envelope here is made out of paper I made myself. So how I did it was I painted some watercolor paper. I made some roses or something, you know, round that kind of looks like flowers. And then I took a picture of that and I printed it out. So in that sense, it's my own digital. All right. So I need a little bit more on there. So that fits in there. Could actually do it that way, or that way, or that way. So many choices. All right, I'm gonna stick another verse in there though. John 12, verse 25. He who loves his life loses it, and he who hates his life in this world will keep it to eternal life. So there's 
two things in there. Um, let's see. I don't know. I'm still thinking it needs a little something, something. This one has a little more color. Maybe that needs to be in the front. John 3, verse 36. He who believes in the Son has eternal life, but he who does not obey the Son will not see life, but the wrath of God abides on him. We are all under the wrath of God until or unless we get saved through Jesus. Jesus is the only way. He is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but through him. All right, so there's that. That's another page. I still have some things here. Not saying we'll get through all of them today, but... Hmm. That actually would make a nice tuck spot. I don't know if I want to cover up any of that page though. <laughs> oh look, I have another one. Hey, if I put it over here, it kind of brings out the color from there. Now, I do have a couple different colors to choose from. Which one would complement that page the best? I'm almost thinking pink. Pink or purple? Purple or pink? I think it could be either one. Okay, decisions, decisions. I'm gonna go with purple. Okay, you guys take off. All right. So then I'm going to just attach the wings. And I'm going to do it at an angle so that it doesn't get bent by poking out there. Just the edges. Sorry, my camera set up here is blocking part of the light. Okay, so right in the corner. So if you don't know, I got these butterflies from the graphics fairy. Um, there was a, a free print out and the idea was to put uh, glossy accents on some parts to make it stand out. I don't have glossy accents so I used clear glue and so it looks it looks kind of embossed. So I'm just gonna draw some antenna because I can. They're not the greatest antennas, but they may not show anyways, because we're going to put some verses back there. John 6, verse 27. Do not work for the food which perishes, but for the food which endures to eternal life, which the Son of Man will give to you, for on him the Father God has set his seal. So I take that as press into the Son of God, which is Jesus, and he will give us the food which endures to eternal life. Because things down here are just temporary. Okay, so then that should kind of snug in there. I 
I think it would work. It doesn't stick out too far. We could also put another one in. I'm slowly working my way down to the end of my verses here, so that's good for today. John 4, verse 14. Whoever drinks of the water that I will give him shall never thirst, but the water that I will give him will become in him a well of, of water springing up to eternal life. That reminds me of that song, Spring Up a Well and give to me that life abundantly. That's one we learned when we were kids. So there's that. Now, what should we do with this one? Matthew 18, verse 3. Truly I say to you, unless you are converted and become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. And that's Jesus talking. Where should we put that? I guess because the bees on it, it should, it reminds me it should go with other insects, but. I was going to say this would make a great pocket, but then again, you cannot see or. I know we could do one of our. Um, what do you call them? Do one of our paper clips. You know, this would still work because it's got a paper clip on the back. All right, I'm going to go with that idea. And if you didn't see, I had a video make where I made these, and um, they're so much fun. All right, so I'm going to. Probably put this on a bit of a sturdier page if I can. Maybe the back of this one. Like so. Just gotta move that a little because it's gonna get wrecked, I think, if it's too close to the the middle. All right. Hey, our little journal is getting full. That's good. I still have some verses to write out and so probably one more um, one more session will take care of the rest of the verses that I have. So anyways, my light went out. So I guess it's time to say goodbye for today. Thanks for joining me, and um, we'll see you again next time. God bless. Bye-bye.